Hello there. Today we talk about the book, The Art of Possibility, Transforming Professional and Personal Life by Benjamin Zander. The Art of Possibility examines the striking effects of being open-minded, embracing a variety of possibilities, and finding solutions to problems by living a hopeful life. Here are my three key learnings from the book. Learning 1. The act of giving benefits our spirits in endless ways. It is common in a world of measurement for us to strive for financial benefits and an inviolable reputation in addition to our goals. It is a goal of every human, born and brought up under traditional norms, to become a landmark in the world. There are, however, studies and research around the world that suggest a better way to live. It is a common choice among spiritual leaders to become less concerned with material things. To achieve fulfillment and happiness makes a difference in the lives of those around you and embrace the philosophy of giving. Just think about it. Success is dependent on failure. Success implies fear. Failing implies constant state of dissatisfaction. But what if we could ditch this game entirely? Instead, live life with the purpose of making a difference and giving back to the universe. Be kind to people, to nature, and to all living things. Embracing the philosophy of giving and being a person of the universe can prove to be extremely rewarding to the soul. Happiness comes from helping others, not from being successful. People will stop viewing you as competition once they learn to rely on you. In order to live meaningfully, you must trust the universe and know that its resources are inexhaustible. Learning 2. Start today with what you have and work from there. Often, our assumptions lead us deeper into a problem than it needs to be. We can ruin great moments and miss out on extraordinary opportunities if we begin with flawed premises. If you want to end this vicious cycle, you must start living in the present moment, right where you are, right now. Don't wish things were different. Love what you have now and make the best of it. Here is an example. If you and your partner are on your way to a dream vacation, Upon arrival, the weather suddenly changes and it seems that it will rain for the entire week. You now have two choices. Mourn what your vacation could have been or enjoy it as it is, exploring the rain and spending some time with your partner. The choice is always yours to live life to the fullest. Learn to live with difficult feelings in order to live your life fully. Facing difficult feelings and experiencing them without running away from them is the best way to live life fully. By facing the storm, you have a better chance of making it to the other side than by hiding under a stone and waiting for it to hit. Develop your resilience to manage difficult situations. If you accept the fact that the present is what it is, you can make the best of any situation. Learning 3. Become less subjective and seek more than just survival in your life. Our brains are hardwired to prioritize survival over all else. Although we may not realize it, our basic instincts kick in in any situation, especially in our daily lives when we wake up, dress up, and go to work to earn our resources. In essence, we live in a world of measurement where survival is a struggle and resources are scarce. Those who live in a world of possibilities assume that there are enough resources to provide for everyone and that it is unnecessary to categorize choices as good versus bad or harmful versus helpful. The opportunities would be endless and life wouldn't be threatening. Or, to put it in another way, what's stopping you from enjoying every single moment of your life and living it to the fullest? It's your own perceptions. Having been born into a world that categorizes everything, you too may begin making assumptions from any circumstance. These assumptions, however, are very different from those held by other creatures. Frogs, for example, do not see color. Yet, humans spend their entire lives interpreting palettes. Thus, the world we live in is purely a product of our own minds. As soon as we get past the boundaries of our own assumptions, we can explore endless possibilities. Imagine a world that is fundamentally different from what we see. In the absence of survival, would we pay more attention to our motivators? At times, we need to remove our rational lenses to improve our perception and be able to see more. Who would I recommend the book, The Art of Possibility, to? For the 30-year-old minimalist who wants to explore their spirituality, the 40-year-old who is going through a midlife crisis and is searching for meaning in life, 
or the 27-year-old who is struggling to make sense of their life and seeks comfort in the idea of endless possibilities. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. For a more detailed summary, check out Blinklist in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.